Hey y'all, uh, it's Michelle Taylor 10. I'm gonna bring you along on making a different type of mashed potatoes. We originally discovered this at a restaurant we like to frequent um, and I figured out how to make it because they definitely would not share the recipe. Anyway, there's spinach mashed potatoes and over here in this pot I've got my, um, what are these, Yukon Gold potatoes that came from our garden. I uh, peeled them up sliced them up and I've got them boiled and they're about just about yeah they're fork tender now so I could actually turn those off in this skillet right here I've got half a stick of butter I'm going to dump all my spinach in here this is the spinach out of our garden and this is gonna look like a lot of spinach but for those of you who cook spinach and know it will cook down really fast So. Um, Pulled off the stems. I may not be able to fit all that in there, but we're gonna sprinkle a little garlic powder in here and cut the heat up on it and get it going. So, as we make this stuff, I will bring you along. Uh, this was kind of a last minute thought out. I need to probably do a video on this. So, but I figure y'all know how to peel potatoes. So anyway, we'll get this cooked down and add some more to it, and I'll bring you back when I do. All right, as you can see, that has that big old pile that I threw in there has cooked down considerably, so I'm going to add another handful in there. And that will actually, 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 if I could talk, that will probably be enough spinach for us for no more than what I'm making because I'm only doing about a half serving size of what I normally do. I'm going to do an eight by eight pan of the mashed potatoes instead of um, a nine by 13. Back in just a bit. All right, drained our potatoes, got them in a bowl here. To this, I'm going to add another stick of butter, and or half a stick of butter, I should say. And I'm gonna kinda cut this up in chunks, chunks so it'll melt a little better and I had probably oh these are five medium small size potatoes that I do and I have to excuse us we're both trying to cook here in the kitchen um, so now that I've got that in there I'm gonna start kind of mashing that's kind of halfway where I want it. Now to this, I'm going to add about four ounces of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to cut that up in chunks too. To kind of get it incorporated in a little easier. Okay. Let me uh, pause you for a minute while I get my mixer because that will make this blending this a whole lot easier. Blender out. Now we're going to start blending this in. I'm going to stop just long enough here to. Normally I use uh, onion dip, but. Uh, we didn't have any. We, <laughs> thank you. We didn't have any, and I didn't stop by the store to get some. So I'm going to put a little onion powder in the sour cream. Don't tell my husband. And uh, this is probably, this is a, what is this, a 16 ounce container of sour cream, uh, but there's not that much in there. I'd say there's maybe three quarters of a cup. And I didn't add a lot of onion powder to it. We're also going to add some seasonal to all this. So just go ahead. Since my shaker doesn't work very well, on here and it's gotten kind of clumpy. We're going to do that. Now, I'm not doing measurements and I apologize that for that. This is something I just kind of dump and go with and you just season it as you like it. If, it, if you think it needs more sour cream, you add more sour cream. So let's get this mixed together. And yeah. I've got the potatoes blended up pretty good. So I'm going to say I'm done with the mixer and can go to a spoon. Now I know that wasn't near enough seasoning in there, but it looks the right consistency of cream. And if you get a few chunks, that's okay too. It doesn't, 
doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. That's about right for me. So, now, to this. I'm going to grab the spinach that we cooked up. And it's got more butter in it, so, and also seasoning. Of spinach. Just mix that garlic and spinach and butter all around in there. Just set them away. Gonna grow a pan. Got my oven preheated at 350. Gonna give my pan a little spray so stuff doesn't stick so bad in there. And you're beeping. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Sorry about that. This is kind of this is kind of interesting. Us trying to both cook in here at the same time and film. All right. Like I said, I normally do. If I if I were doing this for the family, I would do a pan twice the size. I will try to put some sort of semblance of a recipe in the description box below for you. Um, but like I said, this is, to me, this is, or for us, this is to taste. So I, it's kind of a dump and, dump and go with it. Alright, this is going to go in the oven. 350 for about 20 minutes or so. Oh, okay, it got the seal of approval back here. I'll probably pull it out about 5 minutes um, early and put some um, shredded cheese on top of this cheddar, whatever you want, pepper jack, I mean, it would be good with any kind of cheese, so, all right, we'll be back once we have this come out of the oven. Well, I had a little mishap in pulling this out of the oven. It slipped out of my hand, and over half of it ended up on the floor. My husband is down below me now, <laughs> I was trying to scrape it up before the dogs get it. As I said, on this channel, you get the good, bad, and the ugly, and this is one of the bad and the uglies, so... Yeah, we've got the dogs in here now. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. They're in, they're going to clean up the floor for us. So. <laughs> so, all right. What I have here now, I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on, clean it up a little bit, and stick it back in the oven. And this will still be enough for us to have for dinner. But, yeah, what a mess. What a mess. I'm going to be cleaning the rug tomorrow, too, I see. So, okay. <laughs> Fun in our house. Show the fried chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah, hang on. Let me. Here's the cheese going on here. And don't need as much as I intended. So, let me scoot you over here and show you the fried chicken that my husband cooked up. And get it out here in the light. Sorry, shaky camera. I'm trying to keep tripod out of the rest of the potatoes. There we go. That look good. That's our dinner tonight. All right, this is going back in the oven, and I'll show y'all completed plate once I'm done. Okay, here's my finished plate for dinner with my spinach mashed potatoes on there, and I've still got dogs milling around trying to lick the stuff up off the floor. Um, it's, yeah, you can, yeah, you can see Jack down here trying to find stuff, whatever Bug didn't get. Uh, anyway, let me give these a taste for you. Mm. really good so if you're a fan of mashed potatoes and you're a fan of spinach I hope you'll give this a try I may redo this one day but for now this is going to have to do and just to try to get it up for the holidays in case somebody would like to use the recipe thank you for coming along and watching uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I'll answer you as soon as possible uh, thanks again and happy cooking.